Hey guys, it's Bill with Talk Naturally. I'm here to kind of take away some myths and frustration that I personally had when we were looking for new Geiger counters for our laboratory here at Nature's Innovation. And out of that, we actually ended up buying three different Geiger counters. Some of them are, are old. They could be you know five or 10 years old. Some are, actually two of them are brand new right out of the box. I'm not encouraging you to buy or not buy any of these units. We have no financial interest. I'm gonna tell you that up front in this. I just want to help other people out when they're they're taking a look at uh, different products online, and we did actually end up purchasing some of these products up off of Amazon and then eBay as well. Um, just of having our own lab here, we have um, Geiger counter check sources that are in these uh, what are called lead pigs, and I'm gonna explain that to you in a minute. If you've never heard what that is, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing the little blue gloves here. I'll explain that in a minute, and then I'm gonna go into what each of these you know, Geiger counters are that we just picked randomly off the market, even after doing a lot of research um, online for our own lab right here. Um, first, we have Geiger counter check sources. We do sell Geiger counter check sources at Buy Naturally under the scientific column. Uh, they range anywhere from $25 on up to $150, depending on how many clicks per minute they do. I, whether you buy those from us or not, they're still, it's an important part of trying to check your Geiger counter when you get it. And we will send you a certification along with it if you do buy that from us. These are lead pigs, and these come from uh, different laboratories. We did not buy these new, we bought these off of eBay. But basically it is a lead, uh, lead line, and you can see it's very thick. It weighs about two kilos, so a little bit over four pounds. It's very heavy, as you can see the thickness of it. Uh, we do have radiation markers on these. This is to keep the radiation inside the lead and so that it's not uh, not harming us. Now we don't have anything in here that's really super harmful but we do take as precautions depending on you know 20, 30, 50,000 clicks a minute or higher they will go in these lead pigs because we certainly don't want alpha, beta and gamma rays. And the first of all I'll say I'm not a physicist whatsoever so uh, take that for what it is. I'm basically an amateur but we do use these um, very carefully in our laboratories here and they do the job for us, at least the, the main ones that we picked out do the job for us, and there's some that, that have not. Um, in each of these check sources here, there is there are different uh, rates of radiation that are coming off them as they decay, and they are certified, um, and we will prove that on, on each of these units, and then I'll let you be the judge as to you know, what, what unit you'd like or not, or how much money you want to spend, uh, whatever your pocketbook is comfortable with. Um, first of all, I am going to review the Inspector EXP Plus. We purchased this off of Amazon. Again, I don't have any links to it. You can find it out there. It has a pancake um, detector here. Then we are going to um, review the Ludlum Model 3, which is an older model. This one is probably about 15 years old. Works just as good as, as the day it did. It does have an external probe on it. There are some that just have the probe built into it. Uh, Ludlum makes great products. Um, this, if you're lucky, could get it for maybe five to eight hundred dollars um, off of eBay. And then we are going to review the GMC 300E. This was purchased off of Amazon. It's about 150 to 170 dollars um, online there. So first, we'll start with the Inspector EXP, and we will use a lower level check source here. As you can see, we've got our, in this smaller pig, this one will be, basically it's in plastic here, and the reason I'm wearing these gloves is even though we don't want us to get any dust radiation on us, we don't want to inhale it, and I will take these gloves off carefully when I'm done handling this, put it back into the pig, and I'll be done with it. There's nothing to worry about. It's in the back here. That's basically blocking all the alpha radiation as well as it will be for this. Um, we just like to take precautions um, with any radioactive material whatsoever, regardless of how many clicks per minute. I'm going to turn the unit on here, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on audio so that you can hear. I'm going to set it to CPM, CPS, which is clicks per minute. That's the amount of alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. I do not have the alpha uh, locker that's on this. I've taken it off mostly because it's already being blocked by this plastic here. And I'm basically going to lay it just right on top of the sample, which is just right in the center of the unit. We're going to take a, get a reading off of this. 
very quickly. And it's going to take it's going to take a good 30 seconds or more. Uh, this is actually the fastest unit that I tested. Um, I think a microprocessor is pretty decent. This unit's about $800, so it's not it's not cheap, and it could be uh, even higher depending on what you get. We're pulling in a reading of about just roughly 68, 77 clicks per minute, as you can see here. Let's see if it's going to level out a little bit. It fluctuates 6,800. So here, let's say it's 6,800 clicks per minute. And I'm going to go ahead and shut this unit off so that we can move on to the level. So we know this unit certified, and we know that that's, that's a good reading here. I'm going to turn on the, the Ludlum unit. It has brand new D batteries in it. I'm going to turn it on here. I do have the audio on, and we are going to go ahead and test here. We're going to set it on the times 10. And this is going to take it a minute. Now, this is an analog device, meaning it just has a... <laughs> All you're going to see is that. And if you're able to read it, I'm not sure. It's kind of washed out here. I'm going to give it another minute here. But we're reading at about 8,500 clicks per minute. And uh, so these two units are about the same calibration. This one's much older, but all that electronic circuitry that's old doesn't matter. It works great. So I'm going to go ahead and shut that off. So those two are calibrated in about the same manner. And then next, I'm going to turn on the GMC 300E. Takes it a minute here. You have to hold it down. This is by GQ Electronics, um, and their website's gqelectronicsllc.com. If you see here, it's rating about five clicks per minute. That is just background radiation coming from outer space, the sun, and the universe. And the Geiger-Muller tube is in the bottom here. I know this just by virtue of, I'm gonna go ahead and set this down on here. Try to find the right place. So I know with this unit, it's going to take a minute here for it to um, get the final click count. And when I do, I will show it to you with the unit here. It's actually quite slow. It's uh, now at 155 clicks per minute, where we were already at you know, 5,000, 7,000, 8,000 on both of these units. Let's see if there's a better. So the tube, the Geiger tube, is actually built into this unit. It's very slow. We're at 325, 330. Still working. Okay. I really don't know how much more. We're at over 400 clicks per minute now. And now it's back at 390, 384. And I'm just going to take this unit and show it to you while it's attached here. Clicks per minute, 350 clicks per minute, when we had 8,500 or 8,800, somewhere around there with both of these units. So you can see the accuracy of this for a $150 unit just isn't there, I mean, in my opinion. And uh, I might even try to send this back and get our $180 back. Um, I'm going to try this with a, a lot more hot sample. So we'll just set this down. We'll put this back into the pig here. Seal it up. I'm going to try one of the hottest sample, a more hot sample I know that we have here. This is um, here out of this unit. I'll go ahead and click this on. I'm going to set this over here so that this on clicks per minute. And some of these samples, you might have to flip them over and see if uh, it's more hot on the other side. I'm just trying to get a...
you can see here, we're at about 46,000 clicks per minute, 45,000, 48,000 clicks per minute. So we're, we're in a range of a serious amount of clicks here with this sample. What I'm curious of, and then I'm going to do the same. We're actually almost off the scale here on the Modula Model 3. What about 5,500? I don't know if you can see it here with the analog meter. It's a Ludlum, but it's fairly accurate as well as Inspector EXP. Shut that off. Then we're going to go ahead and try the GMC 300E again and just see, you know, how high will this thing go? Because we know this is a very, very hot sample here. So. Okay, now at 910, 970, 1,051, 1,500, 1,600 clicks per minute. Sorry, bear with me here. Just waiting for it to top out and see where we're at. I bet even from here on this unit, we could uh, turn it on, but not on audio. See what we get remotely from here. We're at 32, 3300. We're at 4,000 clicks per minute. I'm just waiting for it to top out. And it's topped out. And I'm at, just from here, over 4,000 clicks a minute this far away, probably four inches away, 3,500 clicks a minute. And this is right on top of the sample. And it is 3,800 clicks a minute on a sample that we know is almost 50,000 clicks a minute. So this shows you for your $170 what you're going to get if you get what you pay for. And I just encourage you to look at all the units on the market, and I hope this has been helpful and a little bit less frustrating than what I've had to go through um, to figure this out. Take care.